The first version of Android was available on the HTC Dream smartphone in 2008. The operating system included Google Maps, YouTube, an HTML browser, Gmail, instant messaging, text messaging, MMS, and more. Something that was an innovation at the time was the Google Play Store, then called the Google Market, and an app store that Google claimed had dozens of unique first-of-a-kind Android applications. Just four months after the launch of the first version of Android, the launch of Android 1.1 took place. What brought this version new was that users could save attachments and messages. Details and reviews were available for businesses on Google Maps and longer in-call screen timeout by default when using the speakerphone, plus the ability to show and hide the dial pad. The next major update for Android was version 1.5 in 2009 which was the first version to use Google's dessert-themed naming scheme and the first Samsung Galaxy phone to have the new Android 1.5 Cupcake. Cupcake had new features and enhancements which we find in current versions, such as the ability to upload videos to YouTube, automatic screen rotation, third-party keyboard support, support for widgets, copy and paste features on the web browser, and the ability to check phone usage history. Also in 2009, Google released Android 1.6 Donut, and the new features included support for CDMA-based networks, and a very important thing in this version was that it supports different screen sizes, meaning phone manufacturers could create devices with different screen sizes. Also, Android 1.6 Donut included the quick search box, the quick switching function between the cameras, the power controlling widget to manage Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. One year after the launch of the first version of Android, the second version appeared, Android Eclair, this was the first version with text-to-speech support, included support for multiple accounts, live wallpapers, Google Maps navigation, and a lock screen that allowed drag-and-drop unlocking. Eclair's 2.1 update brought bug fixes and minor changes to the API. Android 2.2 Froyo was launched in 2010, and the phones that came with this version had several new features, such as mobile Wi-Fi hotspots, push notifications via Android Cloud to device messaging, and the ability to lock the phone with a pin. Android 2.3 Gingerbread was launched in 2010, and the first phone with this version was the Nexus S, co-developed by Google and Samsung. The new version of Android had an updated UI design, had support for extra-large sizes and resolutions, support for NFC function, improved keyboard, support for multi-touch, and support for the front camera. In 2011, Android Honeycomb was released to be installed only on tablets and phones with larger screens and had functions that could not be managed on phones with smaller screens. The most important function brought by this version is to eliminate the need for the physical button, because virtual buttons have been introduced for the start, back, and menu buttons. The next version of Android, Android Ice Cream Sandwich, was released in 2011 and combines many of the features of the Honeycomb version. This version introduced support for unlocking the phone with the help of the camera, the possibility to monitor the use of mobile data and Wi-Fi, sliding gestures to reject notifications or tabs of a browser. In 2012, Google released Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, and immediately after that, version 4.2 and 4.3 were released. This version relied heavily on the notification side and the introduction of Google Now, which could be accessed by swiping the screen to access the calendar, emails, or weather. Also, the most significant update was the improvement of UI performance and functionality through Project Butter. The launch of Android 4.4 KitKat took place in 2013 and had many interesting features such as the blue accents found in Ice Cream Sandwich and Jelly Bean became whiter, and many storage applications displayed lighter color schemes. Also, with the OK Google command, the user could access Google Now at any time and could work on phones with a minimum RAM memory of 512 megabytes. Android Lollipop was launched in 2014 with the Nexus 6, which was the first to feature Google's material design philosophy. VM Dalvik had been replaced with Android Runtime, which means that some of the processing power required for applications was provided before they were opened. Also, the navigation bar has been renewed and the notifications looked better on the lock screen. At the same time, a DOS mode was available that shut down background applications if they were no longer used to save the device's battery. Android Marshmallow was launched in 2015 and brought important changes and features such as a new vertically scrolling app drawer, 
support for biometric fingerprint unlocking, USB Type-C support, Android Pay, the introduction of the Memory Manager, and the possibility to set the volume for device, media, and alarm separately. Google Nexus 6P and Nexus 5X were the first devices to have Android Marshmallow pre-installed, and studies show that this operating system is found on 32.2% of all Android-based devices. In 2016, Google released Android's Nougat and includes improved multitasking features, especially for devices with larger screens. Thus, the split-screen mode was introduced. The fast switching between applications, Google Now was replaced by Google Assistant, and the notification system was also improved. Google Pixel, Pixel XL, and LG V20 were the first phones to come with Android 7.0 Nougat. Android Oreo appeared in 2017 and brought a series of visual changes in the settings menu together with native support for picture-in-picture -picture mode. There is the possibility to activate, deactivate, or sort the notification channels according to importance. Changes have also been made to the emojis, so the blob style for the emojis has been replaced with emojis that were consistent with other platforms. Android Pie was launched in 2018 and brought many improvements on the visual side. Thus, the traditional navigation buttons have been removed in favor of an elongated button in the center, which is the new Start button. Swiping up this button provided an overview of recently used applications, a search bar, and five application suggestions. At the same time, this Android version also brought improvements to the battery life. Shush was introduced, which automatically puts the phone in Do Not Disturb mode when its screen is placed on a flat surface. With Android 10, Google announced a rebranding of the operating system, eliminating the naming scheme used in older versions of Android. Google has also announced a new logo and a new color scheme for Android. Android 10 removed the navigation buttons, now using gestures. Dark mode was available at the system level and users have more control over permissions for applications. Support for foldable smartphones with flexible displays has also been introduced. Google will launch Android 11 starting September 8, 2020, and will bring changes to the notification system. Specifically, it will be anchored in chat applications to facilitate the conversation with the sender of the message directly from the notification. Google is also introducing chat bubbles, a function similar to Facebook's chat heads. By long pressing the power button, the phone will display a new control center that includes quick access to credit cards, and here you will also find Google Home. In terms of security, Google has created new methods for protecting users' data. For example, the user will be able to provide access to various components of an application only once, and the next time it starts, it will require access again. Tell us in the comments what Android version you use and what phone you have. See you in the next video.